Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on um, speed modifications um, using modifiers and Idea Maker. Uh, so the challenge I was having was uh, printing this model for a customer. It does, it, it's a it's a cover uh, for something, so it doesn't really matter what it is. That it was the challenge I was having, um, and the challenge I was having specifically was that these features, uh, these two features here with this overhang. Um, the walls here were not printing. Uh, they were not printing well. They were under extruded, um, you know, spongy, the typical under extrusion issue. And it's not that I was printing too fast, because you can see here, uh, I'm in the speed view, uh, that I was printing, you know, predominantly around 50, 60 millimeters a second. And this is just standard PLA that I've used a hundred times. Um, and you can see from the blue at the bottom and the blue here at the top, that's so around the 20 millimeter a second range, because those are my top layers and I print those slow. Um, but like I said, down here in the uh, in this area, it was uh, you know this middle area. It was it was get a little wackadoodle. So I had a couple of failures. Went back to the drawing board a couple times uh, and figured out what I was doing wrong, or not not so much what I was doing wrong, but how I could overcome the issue uh, without affecting the print time on the whole thing. So you know, obviously, you know, the one easy way to get around this is I knew it was due to um, the speed at which those features are printing. You can see here. That with my nozzle and with even with 100% infill turned on, I'm only getting basically one pass of the nozzle around this feature in order for it to be um, dimensionally accurate. So it's basically printing in base mode. Um, but as it was moving from supports uh, or from walls over to it, you know there was a delay time there and in, in uh, repriming the nozzle. And so anyway, uh, I didn't want to tweak all my settings and change everything around. I knew this was down to speed. Uh, and then if I could just slow down the print speed just in those areas, I could I could make it work. Uh, but I did not want to slow down the whole thing because that was a stupid waste of time. So normally when you're um, when you start your preview mode, you're in just your structure view here. And so if you want to look at um, your speed view, you just come over here and hit speed, right? Um, and so I did try uh, a different way first before I'm going to show you the modifier issue on how to tackle this. So if I go to my slice. And just look at my, my normal template here. Uh, under the layer tab, there is this small feature section. And so this defaults to 10 millimeters, so I knocked this down to one. And basically said, look, any feature smaller th or bigger than a millimeter, which is right, regions are smaller. Um, so I said, anything smaller than a millimeter, um, slow it down. And actually, uh, so a millimeter is probably too small. So then actually, if I change this to five, change that to five, um, then. Um, when you encounter a feature like that, that's that small, slow it down to 40% of my of my normal speed. And so you can see if we save that and slice it, um, my print time hasn't really changed here. And if we go back to the preview and we change the speed, it's still the same. So it, it, it hasn't really done anything. I don't know I don't know what that area is for. Um, it didn't affect anything on this print. So uh, so back to the drawing board. I use modifiers. And so to use modifiers in this case. You pick your model, you hit your modifier button here, and I'm going to add a modifier, which in this case will be a box. So I want to encase those features in a box, then I'm going to make 20 by 20 by 20 millimeters cubed. And I'm going to go ahead and move that box right over the top of my feature, and I may move it up just a tick. And now I'm going to hit my modifier button again, and I'm going to go to this section that says change the settings that you want with the parent model, um, and hit plus. And from here, I'm going to come down and just look at my speed section. I'm going to select fixed speed. All the subsections are already checked for you. You can uncheck if you like. I'm going to leave them all. And basically, I want to I want to go 20 millimeters across the board on this guy. And then I want to copy them because I have another feature over here that's identical uh, that I want to do the same. So I'm basically just doing a copy and paste. So Control C, Control V, and I'm going to go move, and I'm going to bring this guy right over here, and I'm going to center him just to make sure he's all good. What I do? Hopefully that's okay. So you can see those those two features are now centered inside. Um, and if we look here, box three and then, or box and then default box, default box one, they're both at 20 millimeters a second. So now if we go back and we slice, and don't change anything, I don't need to change anything, you just hit slice again. 
Um, you can see here my time went up by about 30 seconds overall. This is a pretty short print. And you can see now, so uh, I've got that box here, but if we switch over to speed, now you can see I've got that whole feature in blue, um, which is totally fine. Now I know it's going to print at 20 millimeters a second along with everything else, and slowing it down with the temperature and the um, you know, the retraction settings I have, I know that those are going to print uh, nicely because I did it and it worked. So uh, I don't have the piece that's at the office, sorry. But um, you're going to have to trust me. So obviously I need supports um, underneath these areas and I added them. I just didn't think that they were relevant to this video. So um, but anyway, there you go. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, I don't think I forgot anything off the top of my head. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and uh, um, it's June 21st, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, and um, I'll talk to you soon.